welcome to another edition of Get Ready With Me. And this is Sunday. This is my only day off a week. And I'm spending it with you, my friends. So let's get started because you know this takes me a while. And to save a little time, I already put on my moisturizer. And I put on my, my um, primer, which I use the Spackle by Laura Geller. You guys know this is my absolute favorite primer I've ever used. And today I'm going to use a bunch of the stuff that I hauled from Ulta this last week. And I'm going to put on my Infallible Pro Glow Mascara. This is 24 hour um, mascara. Foundation. Uh, it has Octanexate Sunscreen Broad Spectrum SPF 15 Radiant Finish Normal to Dry Skin and it's hydrating. So this is what it is and I got it in the color 201 which is Classic Ivory. And I am going to use what I've been using all the time is my large uh, toothpick toothpick. I cannot speak today. My toothbrush brush <laughs> for my face. Okay, and this has not even been opened yet. Whew. It squirted at me. Just put a little bit on my brush and we will get going here. I am so in love with these brushes. for my forehead. And there you go. And you can see that it is definitely luminizing. It feels really good on my skin so far. Something bit me this last week. And it is still swollen, and it bit me towards the beginning of the week. So I don't know what it was, whether it was a big-ass mosquito, or whether it was like a wasp or something during the night, or whether it was a spider. Ugh. Speaking of spiders, um, not... Well, this is about a bat. <laughs> they thought that they had a bat in the bar yesterday in the ceiling of the bar that I usually work at, not the one I was working at yesterday, but I got the hell out of there. <laughs> There's nothing that terrifies me more than bats. And they're just little itty bitty things, but they scare me to death. Um, I am going to use what the uh, medium Ulta brow tint. Now I usually use light and I, I also hauled one of those. But I'm going to try the medium and see if I like it. Um, you know, they're not terribly expensive. So I thought I would give it a whirl and see if 
it's worth using or that's pretty dark I just love these Ulta brow tints I just think they are the bomb.com I guess you could say it is pretty dark but I kind of like the this uh, brown color some of them look almost black, but um, this here isn't too bad. Ugh, it's pretty dark. I'm looking in the mirror. But you know what? I'm going to wear it today anyway, and I'm going to put up with it because I really like this brow tint. I mean, the, the Ulta brand. Boy, this goes on really nice. I always smear a little bit on the ends there. Pretty dark. <laughs> Does it make me look clownish? Nice comments, please. I don't need another eyebrow comment. Nasty eyebrow comment. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to use my Ulta Eye Primer. I'm not using any other until this is gone. I'm putting all my stuff on the bed there so I can just take a picture of it when I'm done here. Okay, and today I'm going to use my Tartlet Tees palette. And that's what it looks like. Just gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Let's see. Such a nice little palette. Okay, for my transition color, actually, this is more of a matte than the one above it, so I'm going to use this for my transition. Powder's flying everywhere. I always forget to tap my brush off. I might have to use a brush after this to clean up because I'm getting excess all over the place. pretty brow color. I mean, transition color. Okay, so let's see here. I'm going to use this and not in a
My goodness. A little bit of glitter, too. I have not found a, a shadow that does not, a glittery shadow that does not spit glitter everywhere. Okay. So what I used was this for my base. I used this for my transition. I used this one for the inner half of my eye and this one for the outer half. Okay, for mascara, I just grabbed one out of the ones that I've used for my makeup of the days. And this is my Black Magic Mascara. Um, this one in the tube. I really like this one. Sorry if you can hear that noise in the background. That's my air conditioner. It's very, very quiet compared to my old one, though. He replaced this last summer. My old one was really bad. I mean, it had been in the this house since the damn thing was built, almost. <laughs> Not really. This I, I have no idea how old this place is, but it's pretty old. If I had to guess, I'd say at least 60s. Okay, I got a little bit of stuff here that I got to clean up. I blinked when I shouldn't have. tissue on my eye now. I'm really organized today. I'm just, you know, by a young person's, or even, you know, up to 35 or so, or even 40 maybe, for their standards, I don't work that hard. But anybody that has ever been a bartender and a cook at the same time, you guys know that it, it's not easy work. It's hard work. And damn it, I am tired. I'm 60 years old and I'm doing the work of a much younger person, in, in my opinion. But I'm not complaining because I have a job that I get 38 hours, a minimum of 38 hours a week. So that makes me happy. I need the job. So anyway, for blush, I am going to use my... Uh, Catrice Illuminating Blush in Coral Me Maybe that I just hauled, and it is so beautiful. I hate even using it. Isn't that gorgeous? All right. My blush brush here. swipe over here. Oh, that's so pretty. I hope this isn't showing up too dark because it really isn't in my mirror. Let's uh, wipe my brush off and put it away. Okay, and for my illuminator or my highlight, I'm using my uh, Catrice Highlighting Powder in Champagne Campaign that I just hauled. And that one looks like this. Their, their stuff is so pretty. That's why I ordered it. I mean, it drew me in because of the Oh, okay, okay, here it is. Isn't that beautiful? Alright, let's try this out here. This is gorgeous. It 
gorgeous. It is really pretty. I love the champagne glows. All right, for my lipstick, I am using my new JLo. Uh, it's the collection exclusive, and it is it's their reds, their favorite reds, and this is the Jennifer's Pink in 705. And look at that. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. I've never had this on my lips yet, so. Wow, that's a bright pink. I'd have almost thought that this should have been a little bit more purple. You know, by looking at the color here. See, look how much darker in the tube it looks than on my lips. Stupid spot on my lip that I always get. My lipstick always travels up into it. Okay, guys, that is my makeup or my get ready with me for this week. Let me know what you think of my new items. Just so pretty. Look at that glow. Oh, my gosh, that's pretty. And this lipstick is so pretty. So I will talk to you in my next video. Bye-bye, guys. Thanks for spending the afternoon with me.